tutorial by needlepointers.com will show you how to make the colonial knot. For more information on the colonial knot, such as when to use it, the type of needle to use, and what kind of thread or yarn, click the link in the video or the description section to go to our colonial knot page. Place the fabric in an embroidery hoop. Bring the threaded needle up from the back of the fabric to where you want to place the colonial knot. Hold the fabric downward with your left hand. With the needle parallel to the thread, bring the needle from the left to the right, sliding it under the thread. With your left hand, wrap the thread over the top and under the needle, forming the figure eight shape. Pull the working end of the thread to tighten the knot around the needle. Insert the point of the needle right next to where it first emerged, not into the same hole. At the same time, keep the working thread and not taunt by holding the working thread with your thumb on the fabric surface about a half inch away from the knot. Keep gentle tension on the working thread as you pull the needle and thread through the knot. You want to keep the tension on the working thread until the last possible moment. Okay, I'm going to do another one for you. Up from the back. Slide the needle from left to right under it. Wrap the yarn around to form the figure eight. Pull the working yarn to tighten the knot. Insert the needle right next to where it emerged. Hold the working yarn or the working thread tight. Gently pull the thread through the knot. And there you have the colonial knot. Now I'm going to show you how to do it left-handed. To do it left-handed, it's gonna be a little awkward for me because I am right-handed, but I will show you as best I can. Bring it up from the back. Hold the thread with your right hand and this time you're going to slide it from right to left. Again, wrap it over the top and under and this will form an, a figure eight. Pull the working yarn to tighten up the knot. Insert the tip of the needle right next to where it first emerged. Put tension on the working yarn by holding it with your thumb. Then pull the thread and needle 
through the knot, releasing the thread at the last moment. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make the colonial knot. The colonial knot can be used in the place of a French knot. Please like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel and follow us on Pinterest, Facebook, and Twitter. To follow us, click the link in the video or in the description section. Also, go to our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other hand embroidery tutorials and free projects.